Hey guys, my name is Matt and I will be demonstrating today how to answer question 4 of the chapter 6 test which can be found on page 378 of the Nelson grade 12 functions textbook. Okay, so the question we will be looking at today. The daily high temperature of a city in degrees Celsius as a function of the number of days into a year can be described by the function t of d equals negative 20 cos bracket 2 pi over 365 bracket d minus 10 bracket bracket plus 25. What is the average rate of change in degrees Celsius per day of the daily high temperature of the city from February 21st to May 8th? Okay, so let's just take a closer look at this question to find out what we have to do in order to solve it. So we're looking to find the average rate of change or a rock of the temperature between February 21st and May 8th. To do this, we will have to use the equation given to us, where T represents the temperature and D represents the number of days into the year. So, the first thing we have to do to solve this is to convert the dates given to us into the number of days into the year they are. You can do this by simply looking at a calendar. After solving this, you will realize that February 21st is 52 days into the year, and May 8th is 128 days into the year. So this graph shown is a visual representation of the function given to us in the question. The graph will just be used as an aid to help you verify your final answer. The first step is to plot your two points of numbers of days into the year. A rock is simply finding the slope of a secant. A secant is a line between two points on a function. The slope of this secant will give you a y value, which in this case is degrees Celsius, over an x value, which in this case is days. The result will be a slope with the units of degrees Celsius over days, which is exactly what the question is asking for. Okay, now it is time to make our a rock equation. Since a rock is simply finding the slope of a secant, we will use the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 that we learned in grade 9. However, in this case, we must use the equation given in the question to find our y values. Now we must solve for our y values so that we can use them in our a rock equation. To do this, all you have to do is take the equation of the function given in the question and substitute the number of days for d. So for example, to find t of 128, simply plug in 128 for d and solve using your calculator. Repeat the process to solve for t of 52. Do not round these values to ensure that you get the most accurate final answer. If possible, store these values in your calculator. The value found for t of 128 should be around 33.9 degrees Celsius. The value you find for t of 52 should be around 10 degrees Celsius. Now that we finally have our y values, we are able to solve for a rock. Substitute your full values in for your y values and evaluate using your calculator. Do not forget the units in your calculation. Your final answer for a rock should be 0.31 degrees Celsius per day. Okay, so let's just confirm that our answer is logical and makes sense. So, does our slope have the proper sign? Yes. Does our slope look roughly the same as the one on the graph? Yes. Does our answer have the proper units? Yes. So it looks like our answer is correct. Now we must write our therefore statement. So. Therefore, the average rate of change in degrees Celsius per day between February 21st and May 8th was increasing by 0.31 degrees Celsius per day. A rock is very important in many careers. Physicists, for example, use rates of change all the time in areas such as kinematics, projectiles, nuclear physics, and astrophysics. A rock has helped them make major advancements for mankind. Biologists also use a rock regularly. Marine biologists use a rock to study the change in plankton in the water and also to use to study the sustainability of marine ecosystems. Microbiologists use a rock to find growth and reproduction rates of organisms and cells. P 
people in business and management use the average rate of change to assess many important aspects of a business, company, or industry over time. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope that I helped solve any questions.